So I thought today I'd give you a very quick update on the courgettes and I'm standing in front of these three courgettes here which uh, were my early plants and they're so old now I mean we've taken we've been harvesting these for at least two months we've taken dozens and dozens of courgettes off them uh, and I really wanted to take them out to give myself a bit more space in here now um, but they've just got so many courgettes on them and so many little babies that I just can't bring myself to take them out, even though they're looking really unhealthy. Um, yeah, I, I'm, we're still eating everything that uh, we're producing in courgette terms, and uh, yeah, they're just they're just great. So, um, so I've got these three here, and then I've got these plants here outside, and they're also in containers, and they're coming on really strong. In fact, this year's the best ever year for container grown courgettes that I've had. And I've got two plants at home as well. And I've got one plant over there outside, which we'll just have a look at now, which is the, um, the patty pan type. But what I've also got are quite a lot of summer squashes that can be used as courgettes. Uh, so I've got the trombonchinos and they're growing really nicely. I mean, you've got one here growing up. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a really lovely plant. And it's actually got some side shoots off here as well that I'll start to train. Um, and we haven't had very, I think we've only had two fruits off that one so far, but there's a lot of uh, fruits to come. Um, I've got another one of those down there. And then outside, I've got quite a few as well, uh, and they're starting to come into fruit now. So we're going to have quite a nice abundance of uh, courgette type things. And then just for completeness, we'll just talk about the cucumbers because I, I kind of did an experiment this year trying to grow my cu cucumbers underneath the trestle table and then kind of train them out like this. And it's worked really well. Uh, I had hoped this one would kind of be a bit more in there rather than in the pathway there, but uh, I've got plenty of space here. And I've got another one down the other end there that's just the same. Um, and again, we've had a nice abundance of cucumbers so far. So I think I'm picking, well, you'll see actually at the end of this video, I'll just do the harvest of the courgettes and the cucumbers. Uh, and it's Monday today. And I did the last harvest on Saturday. So uh, you can see it's been two days basically uh, and we've had a nice little harvest. Okay, so here's the harvest for today. So that's the first one actually of the summer sunburst. And this is the one ball, which is actually really nice. We're really loving these. Um, that's one of the centre cuts and they grow a bit bigger than that. Ideally you harvest them about six inches, but it's important to keep on harvesting them. So that's the first pick off there. And then these are the baby rocky uh, cucumbers for today. We'll probably have the same again tomorrow for those. And then these are the Zephyr. And yeah, we particularly like these. They're really kind of meaty. Um, not watery at all, uh, courgette. So yeah, that's today's selection. I haven't actually got any tromboncinos, but they kind of look a bit like that center cut, wherever that one's gone. Um, there, it's just they're kind of a bit light, more lighter skinned and a bit longer. And of course, like all these, the, the center cut and the tromboncino, they are a winter squash as well, so they will grow really big, um, you know, like two or three feet, three, two or three, two or three feet long. Anyway, it's about to stop raining, so I think I'll finish there. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.